Point from Modern Salon TV. I am here with James Vincent. We're backstage at a L'Oreal Professionnel photo shoot, and you are the makeup, uh, makeup artist of the day, and you're going to give us a tip on blush, the differences between cream and powder and placement. Yes. So I'm gonna tell us all about it. I'm going to the tip on blush. Blush is one of the easiest way to make your makeup look modern, but it's also one of the easiest ways for any woman to age themselves. And it all comes down to choosing the right color and putting it in the right place. So I'm going to show you some of those tips on Jessica. All right. Great. Show us. So cream blush is a really easy way to give yourself a flush, like it's glowing through the skin. But the trick is, no matter what formulation you're using, comes down to placement. If you're working with a pink or a red or anything that looks like blood flushing to the surface, you want to keep that towards the apple of the cheek. If you're working with a peach or a coral or anything in the orange family, you want to keep that at the higher point of the cheekbone. I'm working with cream blushes because I love the way they just kind of flush the skin. And you can see even before I blend that, how it looks like a very natural flush. If you're working with taupe or anything brown, you want to bring that right below the skin and hit it up into the cheekbone. Regardless of your age, carving into the cheekbone just a little with taupe from the lightest to the darkest skin is going to give you a perfectly natural contour and it just gives a beautiful depth. And cream blush really allows you to flush it in with your finger or a brush. Now you're doing this for a photo shoot. How would you do it differently for the client? I, wouldn't, I would do the same exact thing for any woman. Now you don't have to use all three shades. For every day, you might just choose to use a pink, you might just choose to use a peach, but it all comes down to placement. And if you want something more natural because you're not in the middle of a photo shoot, just use a sheerer bit of color. It just gives you that flush of color, like you've just exercised or had a glass of wine or you saw that cute guy across the room, and it feels very natural and gives you that glow that we all have when we're 17. Well, let's do this. Let's look straight forward and show that it is very subtle, but it is different. It's very subtle, and it's a very easy way. And the big trick, if you want to make it even more natural, you can take your foundation and just flush it right back over that blush or your powder and that flush of color looks like it's coming through the skin instead of sitting on top and giving you that kind of 80s rougey look that can age someone. Okay, now you're using brushes with cream, which I find very interesting. Would you ever take one of these, for example, and just kind of dot it on her face? I why or why not? Definitely, I love these products. Um, any cream, I use my fingers because you can literally carve it in and sculpt it right out. Working with your fingers is kind of like sculpting because you can actually see where the color should go. And when you're working with taupe to contour, think of it like the shade of a tree, right? From the lightest to the darkest skins, you just want to give that shadow, but you want to hit it up into the cheekbone so you get that natural contour and it doesn't look too hard or too linear. If you're going in with a powder blush, use a soft brush. I love a large fan brush because it deposits a soft amount of color. All right, let's hold that, just hold it up so that we can see the, uh, the that's pretty cool. Very nice. Who's that by? This is from Makeup Forever, but you can get fan brushes in any price point in any price range. And with that, because it's a very soft brush, you can see how it just gives that sheer hit of color and really allows you to shape the face. So if you are a woman who needs more contour, it also feels very natural. Okay, and what is this brush made out of? I mean, what do you recommend for professional makeup artists? What, what, um, this is, this is a synthetic hair. Synthetic hairs have come a long way. Traditionally, what we have always said is that a natural animal hair will be better for powder. A synthetic is better for cream. But now synthetics have come so far that you can get great brushes in any price point. And it really is about choosing what fits in your budget and your lifestyle. How much did you spend on that brush? Um, <laughs> they send me brushes for free. How much should some, How much would one, a normal person spend? Um, I've got a great fan brush from a company called Crown Brush that it was $4 that I pick up at an art supply store. And this one's probably in the $40 range. And I have brushes that go up to $300. So it really comes down to your budget and what you need to spend. Okay, so I know 
Um, I told you I was only going to ask you one question. No. Am I putting you on the spot? If you have someone I love who's not spending time with you <laughs> answering questions. <laughs> All right. If you have somebody who's not a superstar model in her twenties, say you have someone who is uh, over this way, somebody who's <laughs> not in her twenties. How would you do the blush differently? I would do the same thing. I'm using a, a different brush, and I'm using a powder this time. And all I'm going to do is flush that pink right on the apple of your cheek. And you can use from a soft pink to a bright red. And it just comes to, down to blending. And you can see it's right on the apple of the cheek where that blood would flush through. Now I'm going in with a peach powder and I'm just bringing it up. I'm starting at the temple because wherever we put our brush down is our strongest deposit of color. And I'm just bringing that from temple down to the apple of the cheek. And you can see how that gives you the most beautiful natural glow. And then if I wanted to go in with a taupe, which you don't need because her whole body hangs off her cheekbones, you would just hit it right into the cheekbone and it's fantastic every time. Is that a good thing for my uh, Yes, for it's my body beautiful. I wish, <laughs> I wish I had your cheekbones. Oh, that's nice. Everyone thank does. You. I wasn't sure if that was an insult or a compliment. So <laughs> that was will, definitely a compliment. All right, well, thank you so much. Thanks thank for this you. time and, and good luck to all the professional makeup artists out there. Thank Thanks you. Thank you, you very much. Bye-bye.